Hello friends, hope you're having a wonderful day. Just messing around, playing as a Kentrosaurus. Rawr. Just walking around. But while I'm doing that, I was also reading the Bible. So, let's take a- oh no, are you friendly? Please be friendly. You friendly? Okay, he's friendly. That's good. <laughs> oh. Well, I would try to figure out... No, I don't want to do an invite. Well, I would try to figure out if this guy's going to attack us or not. But let's read in the book of Luke. That's in the New Testament. We're going to read chapter 9, verses 46 through 50. Then there arose a reasoning among them, which of them should be the greatest? And Jesus perceived the thought of their heart, took a child and set him by him, and said unto them, Whosoever shall receive this child in my name, receiveth me. And whosoever shall receiveth me, receiveth him that sent me. For he that is least among you all, the same shall be the great. And John answered and said, Master, we saw one casting out devils in thy name, and we forbade him, because he followeth not with us. And Jesus said to him, Forbid him not, for he that is not against us is for us. So, I can walk and talk now. I ain't reading. I don't like to do that while reading the Bible because it's like you shouldn't add words to the Bible that's not there. And even though I misspeak sometimes, I try not to do that on purpose. Try not to do any waffling. But anyway, do not forbid him not, for he that is not against us is for us. So, that was a person, when Jesus was alive, that was cast out demons in the name of Jesus. And that just throws like a wrench in a bunch of people's philosophies. They're like, or theology. Shift is run. Yeah. Okay. Because um, there may be people like, only apostles could have done that stuff. Or some people like, you have to be filled with the Holy Spirit and stuff like that. It's like, well, that guy, this was before Pentecost, and he, wa and he wasn't a disciple. So it's just kind of weird that no one really talks about this. It's like, Jesus, the name of Jesus is powerful enough to cast out demons. Y'all saw that giant piece of meat too, right? Anyway. Um, and he's able to help those in need, even if they're not really with him. They weren't with his group. But Jesus, his name still worked and he still cared about that guy. And I think that's very nice. Hope you eat this plant. Um, and I'm thankful for a God that loves us and cares about us, even if we don't always follow him around like we should. Um, if you have any comments about this, by the way, you can leave it in the comment section. All views are welcome here, as long as you're not calling people names. Um, and I leave comments on my videos. Sometimes my shorts, they get cut off and I have no idea why. That's just something that's been happening lately. It's very annoying. <laughs> I wish it would stop. But, um... What was I getting to? Oh, yeah. If he's not against us, he's for us. There are many people out there just try to start conflicts for no good reason. I don't get it. They're just, they're just vicious all the time. And I don't know why. But I don't think we're called to do that. Because Jesus was telling him, Are you casting out demons in the name of Jesus? You're glorifying the God, the creator of the, of the universe? Great. Keep doing it. You know? Um... But also try to follow and live a good life as well. Like, not like the kind of good life of, like, oh, I got three fishing boats. No, not that kind of good life. I mean, like, giving to charity, being kind, stop cursing, stop drinking. You know, just be a nice, good person. Um, and it lives a good, clean life and stays out of trouble to the best of their ability. To me, that's a good life. I've heard too many stories like, yeah, I got drugged and wrecked my car. It's like, that's thousands of dollars. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> um, but it's like living a good, clean life is good. Don't forbid people who will go around and tell people about Jesus because they're not your denomination. It's like, glory be to God. And that's just, and teach the message that Jesus, he was God and was fully, he was fully God and he was fully man. He died and he was bodily resurrected on the third day. And... He went to heaven, and he's coming back again um, for us one day soon. 
And it's like, as long as you don't deviate from that message, I don't really have a problem. Um, yeah, if y'all have any thoughts, concerns, questions, snob remarks, you can make it in the comment section. And if you have any comments on dinosaurs being in the background, leave that too. I'm just trying something different. Haven't done stuff like this in a long time. But yeah. That's about it. Let's see if these guys are friendly. Hello, are you friendly? You're not friendly. Tail. Whoosh, whoosh. Come here. Give me. Come here. Go down. Yeah, you better run. You better run. I'm going to sleep. Yeah, it's the best thing to do to recover from a fight. Sleep. <laughs> you want something too, Blueberry? The thought. Anyways, that was not the ending I wanted. That was kind of violent. Just turned that guy into a hamburger. I could just come beat you up, but I won't. Leave me be and I'll leave you be. Okay. See, it's called de-escalation. I'm going to eat some berries. Because that's all I want. These spikes are not the good start conflicts in case someone tries to stop me from eating berries. <laughs> Hope you have a nice day, and God bless you. Goodbye.